Hello there. In this video, we're going to talk about Bitcoin. Bitcoins are pretty interesting. It became interesting to people only recently. During the past year, Bitcoin gave its investors a whopping 500% returns in just a matter of 12 months. So this got investors' attention. And this up move had its reasons. Multi-billion corporations like Tesla, like Expedia, PayPal, Starbucks, and much more, and many more corporations, big billion dollar companies, had supported Bitcoin's growth. Some of these companies had even invested in Bitcoin as a long-term investment. As you and I would buy gold as an investment, these companies have invested millions or billions of dollars in purchasing Bitcoin to show up in their balance sheet. As more and more corporations started investing in Bitcoin, started supporting Bitcoin, the common people also got interested in it. The retail investors got interested in it. So pretty much everybody got on board and at least they started making research and started thinking about investing their money into Bitcoin. As more and more people joined in, Bitcoin's value went up. Obviously, when the supply of the Bitcoin is limited and the demand keeps increasing, the price of the value eventually, go, eventually goes up. And that's exactly what happened to Bitcoin because the Bitcoin has a limited supply, but the demand kept increasing around the world. So Bitcoin has gone up from $10,000 to $65,000 in this April. But however, in the month of May, Bitcoin fell nearly 50% in its value. From $65,000, it came down to almost $30,000, which is pretty huge. And even this fall had a reason because many people thought that the Bitcoin was just a manipulative game and big players are just have just dumped the Bitcoin and went away. But no, there are reasons behind this fall as well. And one of the reasons is the Bitcoin mining process got affected when one of the Bitcoin mining farms in China got hit by a power outage. There was a power crisis, electric crisis in China for three days and one of the big Bitcoin mining farms got affected by it and all the computers were forced to shut down, were forced to go offline. And this created a shockwave in the Bitcoin community and the price of the Bitcoin fell. Because whenever the mining process gets affected, the price of Bitcoin gets affected as well. Because when the mining process gets affected, there is something called hash rate that gets affected. And when the hash rate gets affected, the Bitcoin's value also gets affected. So everything here is interlinked. And that's one of the reasons the Bitcoin's value fell. And the second thing is China began to impose some restrictions on Bitcoin trading or investing. And it had ordered its banks to stop its services to the cryptocurrency exchanges that were running in China. And this also created a problem for Bitcoin and it dropped in value. And thirdly, a decision from Tesla had created a massive drop in the Bitcoin's value because Tesla previously allowed its customers to purchase their cars by paying in Bitcoins. But in the month of May, Tesla had retracted that offer. Tesla said that, that it will not affect Bitcoins as currency anymore. And this also had a negative effect on the Bitcoin's price. And above all, Bitcoin had been under pressure lately because the mining process, Bitcoin takes up a lot of electricity, a huge amount of electricity. And when this happens, when a lot of electricity is consumed from around the world, it creates a massive carbon footprint. And this carbon footprint is definitely not good for environment. So experts were advising the Bitcoin mining community to find some alternative, more energy efficient ways for mining Bitcoins. That way, it will not affect the environment very much. And even this is one of the reasons that Tesla had stopped getting Bitcoins as currency because the mining process had a huge negative impact on the environment and Tesla did not like it very much. And this is uh, one of the main reasons that Tesla had retracted the offer that it gave its customers. So all these things together had a negative effect on the Bitcoin's prices and the Bitcoin fell pretty sharply in a single month. And however, if the Bitcoin community finds some other way, more energy efficient way for the process of mining, then it is possible for the popular 
cryptocurrency to touch new highs in the near future. Now, let's go on and look at the technical chart and see what it has to say. In this monthly chart of Bitcoin, we can see that the price has gone up pretty strongly for the past few months, right after the breakout of this small consolidation pattern. And the breakout happened around the month of July, July 2020, and the price has gone up ever since. And currently, the price is facing a little issue because we can see that there is a sell-off in the month of May, which was pretty strong. From $65,000, the price came all the way down to $30,000 in one month. And we already saw the fundamental reasons behind why this happened. And even in charts, we can see some signals of reversal right around here. Because whenever the price goes up, we can see that the green candles are rejecting new highs. We see selling pressure coming in on every green candle. The selling pressure coming on every green candle indicating that the selling is coming in. And finally, we have this neutral candle which suggests the price could probably fall or the price could probably reverse uh, from this high. And that's exactly what happened in the month of May and the price came all the way down dropping 50% in value. And currently, we only see selling pressure in Bitcoin in the monthly time frame because although we see this uh, slide buying at the bottom it's not really confirmed yet so this only tells us that the price is still in selling trend and it is very much possible for the price to retest the low of this big red candle right here and coming down to weekly time frame here uh, we can see that the price broke out of this triangle pattern and moved pretty strongly and this breakout happened around the month of October and from then the price went up pretty strongly non-stop. And currently we can see that the selling pressure is still predominant even in weekly time frame because we did not see any indication for buying it. We see some neutral candles. Even these neutral candles tell us only that only there is selling pressure left on top. And even in this weekly time frame, we only see that the selling is predominant here. So it is highly possible for Bitcoin to come down and retest this 28,700 levels before going up. And this 28,700 levels would act as a very strong support. And if the price breaks it down, we can expect the price to come down to 20,000 levels. So for now, the Bitcoin is still in the selling territory. And if the price holds at 28,700 levels, and if there is some strong bullish breakout or something from that level, we can look for buying opportunities. And even if it goes up from that point, we can expect this 44,000 levels to be acting as a resistance, even if the price goes up from this 24,000 levels. On the other hand, if the price breaks down this 28,000 levels, which it most probably will, then this 20,000 levels will be acting as a pretty strong support level from where we can look for a strong reversal in Bitcoin. And in our next video, we will, we will talk about the Ethereum which is another cryptocurrency that's only next to Bitcoin in popularity. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day.